Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So this is a package from Germany or like Hungary or something like that. I oh know, I think it's Bulgaria. Uh, unboxing knife. One of my <laughs> four Demco 80 20.5s. I just bought another shark's foot from Knife Center with the D2. They dropped the shark's foot today, shark's feet. And I have 80s fat carbon coming for that one. So I'll be swapping that one out. And then um, I'll have four of them. I also got a couple lefty lynch clips. So all is well on the Demco front. Don't ask me why I wanted so many. So this showed up and I honestly thought it was something else because of how tiny the box was this is a small freaking knife guys i thought it was a little bit bigger so this is the picaroon tools mutineer i bought this new off of etsy actually and this guy i believe is in bulgaria there it is but it shipped from germany it seemed i don't know anyway uh i saw this on instagram shout out to my buddy brian uh libs l-i-l-b-s underscore edc i believe i'll link it down below if i remember first time i saw this knife was on his instagram about two weeks ago i ordered one that day because it looked right up my alley you'll see why i did not realize the size was this small though it says caution sharp working tool inside keep out of the reach of children i stand 100 percent behind my products i warrant that this product is free of defects in the craftsmanship and materials. The warranty does not cover wear, damage by lack of maintenance, misuse, or abuse usage. Picaroon. Picaroon Tools LTD, Varna, Bulgaria. EDC, like a pirate. That's great. Lead the mutiny. Picaroon Tools, you can hit them up uh, on Instagram, Facebook. Again, Etsy store. I bought this. It comes in three different versions, okay? So there is a micarta show side, I think brown micarta, natural micarta show side, titanium lock side. They're all frame, excuse me. They're all titanium frame locks. That one with D2 was like a hundred and, uh, man, I'm sorry. I, I don't know the exact price, 150 bucks, let's say. Then there was one with G10, I believe, and the same D2 titanium frame line. That one was like 130 And then there's this one with S35EN and it's full titanium. Damn, this thing is small. Holy shit. Okay. Um, I did not realize it was this tiny. I thought it said it was a three-inch plate. Maybe I just don't know what, you know, three inches in it anymore. Um, this one was 200 and I think 16 or something. But by the time I checked out with shipping, it was like 235. Uh, yeah, it's right up my alley, guys. You can tell right away what kind of blade shape it's going to be. It's going to be a Warren Cliff sheep's footy blade. Now I can tell you these are OEM'd by Best Tech. It says it right on the Etsy store. And obviously, this guy is a fan of pirates. I love this finish on the titanium. Now, it is a uh, frame lock, and the clip is not very long. So this is probably going to suck for me left-handed, but we shall see. Uh, it's pretty slim. I mean, I like the look of it. How's the detent? Ooh. <laughs> that felt the snappy. Wow. Okay, I'm excited. Look at this thing, guys. Is this not just raw bat? Oh. What? Dude. Dude. Fits my hand really well. Is that a hollow? Uh, it might be a flat grind, but it's close. Like almost a hollow grind. But you can see the stock there. But it's a tallish blade, saber grind, but it's flat. Starts right about here. Comes down to what, ooh, it feels like a pretty good edge. Let's uh, checky, checky, checky. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, I could probably get it a little bit better with a little stroppy. 
even though I don't even use like emulsions or anything, I literally just hit it. Hit it like a strop. Hit it like a strop. Hit it like a strop. Hit it, 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 hit it like a strop. Yeah, I did nothing. I take no credit. But I also take no fault. Okay, let's see. Ergos are good. It's like a little pokey stabby John, you know? We got Mutineer right there. S35. Let's uh, zoomy zoomy. I love that clip design. Mutineer S35. Man, it's gorgeous. Look at that coat hanger hole. Love the coat hanger hole. There's his logo. I think the price is right. The price. The price is right, bro. Look at the lockup. Hey, hello. Little backspacer action. You got the lock bar cut out on the outside, but you know what? Um, ninety percent of knives do that, so I ain't gonna fault it. Let's checky checky access to the lock bar. All right, so it's not a dropper, but we'll see. We'll see. No play, no lock rock. So, I mean, I haven't tried skiffs or any of that stuff. It does look like it is on some kind of Delrin bearings. Some kind of, let's see. Uh, I take it back. They're brass caged. Probably five millimeter here. Moment of truth, people. Ah. Oh, shit. Okay. So I just rest on the pivot, which honestly, because it's so small, my thumb is kind of like right here. Kind of works really well. By the way, I'm back to super glue on the nails. See my knife ramble about thumbnails? Not a big fan of the thumb flick. Because the coat hanger is kind of hooked right here. It does catch your thumb, though. Oh, never mind. It is a small little guy. I want to be able to just bang it like that, but I can't. I got to do this move. I'll tell you what. Let me see if I can... Yeah, so I can get down on the clip. I don't know if I could try to, like, get a clip made that's super long or something, but that seems like a lot of effort. Um, I think, here's my first impression, right? One, if you're right-handed and you like a smallish knife and you're like me and you love this blade shape, I could, I mean, I can already recommend this thing. Holy shit. It's just really nice. I... You know, I'm just digging the, I don't know, it's just little and fun, man. And that blade shape is just so useful, guys. This is my favorite blade shape. And the ergos on this thing and this grip are just, they're freaking phenomenal, man. Uh, absolutely in love with that. Don't love the thumb flick. You can, let's see, yeah, you can slow roll it out. That lockup. I feel like it already jumped over a little bit. I could be... Man, I really wish I could just fire it out, though. Just got to find that pivot. Yeah, that's going to bug me pretty quick, guys. Not going to lie. It already bugs me that I can't flick it wherever I want. So, uh, I don't know how long this guy's going to survive me. But that doesn't mean this is not a fantastic knife. I really like this knife, guys. Um, I think they were still available on his Etsy store last time I checked. Um, and if you're right-handed, man, dude, I really, you know, unless you just need to have big knives. Like, we can check the uh, blade length on this sucker. Yeah, it's, it's 2.8, 2.8, and then overall, I mean, look at this, we're, that's six inches, and we're almost there, so it's like six and a quarter, maybe, yeah, 
right around 6.3 overall. So she's a small, she's a small gal, you know? Um, but she's small but mighty, guys. The lock bar access, it's just got the chamfers on both sides here. It works. It works well, honestly. Centering's dead nuts. Yeah. It's cool, that's for sure. So, there you go, guys. That's the Picaroon Mutineer. Shout out to Picaroon Tools, man. This is a knife that was on pre-order, I think, for a while. And they had just landed. That's why Brian was showing it off. He got his. So, it's cool to find out about a knife and be able to go order it. <laughs> like, that was awesome. I could just go pull the trigger right away, and I did. So, um, yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say this is a good knife. And uh, if you're right-handed, you should get one if you're into that sub-three-inch range. Man, it's so comfortable in hand, too. Fucking wish I was right-handed right now. Another one makes me wish I was right-handed. Man, I don't have anything just like it, but it obviously is similar to my design. Um, you know, here's the uh, here's the stout plastic prototype. You know, it's got a little similarity there. Not a lot, but, you know, definitely, definitely in the ballpark. I love the finish, too. The uh, titanium is finished extremely well. Just such a good stone washing. Uh, and then same thing on the uh, the blade. And Best Tech nailed the detent, guys. So, yeah, I'm starting to think that it's more on the... Excuse me. I think it's more on the designer than it is on the uh, company. The manufacturer, you know. Uh, maybe Vero just likes light detents. You know, obviously the, the Richard Rogers OEM Slim had light detents, at least the early ones. Maybe that's just a choice by them, or maybe Best Tech got their shit together. I don't know. But either way, I dig it. I dig it a lot. So I'm going to shut up now. Pick a rune. Tools. Mutineer. Go check it out on Etsy. Link below. Uh, if you want to let them know I sent you, feel free, but I don't get credit for anything like that. Uh, but it's always good to let people know how you got there. Um, so they know I am digging their products. Really cool. It's got an over travel stop, lock bar insert, all the good shit. Um, yeah, I'm going to start following these guys on Instagram. That's for sure. And, uh, this thing may be sticking around. It's just really comfortable with hand and, uh, like as a knife, it's going to be really good. It's just, that's, you know, that's the killer fifth pocket material though. Right. Here's a quick comparison to a couple knives I have. The Roxy 3. Let's see how it is in comparison. Yeah, even the, the Roxy 3 is a little bigger. You get that choil. And that's basically the difference in size, right? And then right here I have the lefty SBR I'm digging on. That might be a closer comparison. Let's put it down here. Yeah, they're about the same exact size. The SBR and the Picaroon. So there you go. Mutineer, baby. All right. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Let me know what you think about this one down in the comments. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts. Do you have one? Do you want one? Are you thinking about picking one up? There's probably no point in asking me uh, if you want this one because it, this is going to be, you know, 10 days in the future and it'll probably be gone by then if I sold it. Uh, if not, I'm probably keeping it because. Uh, I do really like it. It's It really has nothing to do with the knife uh, that I would sell it. It's just the fact that I'm not right-handed, <laughs> you know? So, uh, anyway, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later. All right, guys, so here's the deal. After spending a night with this thing, I did sell it. I sold it to my buddy Kevin, Knife Nerdery. But, I want to emphasize that this is a really cool knife. Um, and if I were right-handed, I would 100% still own this. Um, and I do recommend this knife. So, I can't call it, I can't do a full review or anything because I only had it a day, right? But this edge is super slicey. 
This is just one of the most comfortable small knives I've ever handled. Fits my full hand. I have a large glove size hand. It's a 2.8 inch blade, six and a quarter overall, and it fits like really nice ergos. Um, the action is incredible. They nailed the detent. Uh, it's easy to disengage. I think that's going to break in on the close. It's very smooth. It's just not like guillotine drop shut, and I haven't even tried skiff. So I think this thing would kick ass given the time and given someone's love. Um, I love the finish work. Uh, the main reason I wanted to add this little section at the end is this, I think, is the best work I've seen from Best Tech. And I want to just commend them. Now, the Thick Boy is really good. Um, but this is a little simpler and they fucking nailed it, guys. This thing is Riot level crisp. I mean, the detents money, the finishing is money, the, the grind and the, the edge is money. Um, they just nailed this thing from stem to stern. <laughs> Get it? I don't even know if those are the right terms, but, um, I love it. I really do. I love it, guys. And I know it's hard to eat. It's hard to um, justify how I sell a knife within a couple hours, yet I love it. You know what I mean? And I don't want you guys to get the wrong impression because I have sold it. You know what I mean? Um, it's an excellent knife. It's a fantastic EDC knife. I will say the clip is perfect. It carries way better than I thought it would. It doesn't look bad or anything, but it's a 3D milled clip. It just carries so well. Um, and it's got such a small package that it it's just excellent. It's really, um, if you're right-handed, this is possibly one of the best EDC knives you can get. I mean, it's just so good for the size, the, the ergos you get, the the perfect EDC blade shape. I mean, come on, right? I know I'm biased because, you know, I tend to design that blade shape. But uh, what would I change? So uh, maybe slightly alter the, the shape of the hole. I do the reverse flick is money. Uh, the thumb roll, money. But the flick, it, it here's the weird thing. It doesn't feel confidence inspiring, but you catch it every time. So I'm pretty sure you'd get used to it. And you'd, you'd be happy with it. But I think for the thumb flick, the hole is a little bit... Uh, it's just not tuned for that or whatever. The D10 is perfect. Uh, I want to re-emphasize that. Just money. I love this thing. You can see this right here and I can feel that. But there's no edge there. Uh, they did a great job on that. Um, not having sharpened edge there. I can run my finger all day, no problem. Uh, quick close-up look if I didn't do that earlier. Yeah, guys, absolutely love this thing. So, uh, big recommendation here. I can recommend the Mutineer to anyone. Uh, if you're left-handed, you know, I got used to it, honestly. Uh, and it's not that big of a deal. I just was sitting there with my Roxy 3, and I was thinking, you know, I have a knife very similar in function and everything, that I don't, you know what I mean? That this works a little better left-handed because of the way the clip is designed. So it just, for me, I'd just rather have the Roxy 3 as a lefty. So keep that in mind if you're left-handed. But it works really well. You just got to put your finger on the pivot, which being a small knife is not hard, right? And you can also ride down to the clip. Um, so you have your pivot up here to flick from, and then you have your clip down here to flick from. Both work. You know what I mean? But me, naturally, I want to be right here. And I can't. So that's the reason for selling it. I have to have reasons, guys. Because I try to keep that at that. Um, and the more I buy, the more I got to sell, basically. Um, that's just because I can't carry all that. So why would I have more? That's my thinking on it. If I don't carry a knife, I won't um, keep it. Now, I probably would have carried this for a while. You know, and then I would have gotten pissed about not being able to flick it, you know, all the time lefty. So anyway, that's it, guys. Quick wrap up on the Mutineer. I fucking love it. 
and I want you guys to try to get one. I believe they're not available anymore in this configuration. The Natural Micarta and the G10 Showside ones with D2 blades are, I think, on the Etsy store, which I'll link below. Now, you know, that's 10 days from now, so maybe they won't. I don't know. Um, we'll see. But you could probably get them on the secondary, and I'm sure they're going to do another run now that they're selling out, right? Um, so anyway, let me know what you guys think. Sorry for the, the kind of random in my bedroom thing here. I just, I'm shipping it and I wanted to add this because I wanted to do it justice. Um, I want Picaroon tools to know that I love their knife. You know what I mean? Uh, centering's dead on by the way. So anyway, love you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will catch you later.